Hello, I'm Mary Diltz for Lightpost Publishing. Today, it's my pleasure to invite you to the unveiling of Thomas Kincaid's latest painting, A Quiet Evening. Let's join Tom at the studio for the sneak preview. Hi everyone, and I am so excited to be presenting my newest painting. Of course, when I began painting cottages years ago, it started as really an outgrowth of the time I spent in England. Uh, we had the chance to live in England for about two months. And during that time, my oldest daughter, Merritt, was about three years old. And I'll never forget having the chance to sit on the edge of a little stream, set up my easel, and work on a painting from life in the heart of England, right in the Cotswolds. Uh, that painting, by the way, was called Swanbrook Cottage and was released as one of my earliest cottage prints. I like the idea that the cottages are old. Everything about them is old. I think of paintings like The Glory of Morning and The Glory of Evening uh, when there was this sense of the coziness of a cottage that is nestled into the landscape. Because the cottages are so old, they have uh, a sense of having grown in. It's as though the vines and the ground has settled and grown over the cottage, allowing it to really become part of the landscape. Now with this painting, it was not uh, just an attempt to capture that coziness of a cottage that has grown into the landscape, that sense of history and the sense of old world charm that you see with those beautiful villages in the Cotswolds. But I also wanted to capture the sense of quietude that comes in the evening. There's just something about a quiet evening. It seems to refresh the soul and rekindle hope within us as we just savor the peace of God that comes in an evening when the sounds of evening are upon the landscape, that quiet melody of peaceful sound as a stream is beside you or perhaps the crickets, the sound of an evening breeze in the leaves of the trees. I really enjoyed creating the grid work of the window panes uh, within that main bay window. It just struck me as the kind of place you'd love to sit in an evening and watch nature uh, out your window. It also was fun because the idea of a little trail, a little pathway that made its way along the stream, just invites us to find out what is beyond the cottage. There perhaps would be a trail that would take us out into the distant trees. We see the sunset light coming from the distant trees and we have the idea that perhaps the glow of evening is still radiant upon the landscape. I also had fun painting a weeping willow. I've never painted that effect. A weeping willow that bends gracefully over the stream and we see the light kind of pouring through those little teeny leaves of that willow tree. I love reflected light on a stream and as I created the idea of light pouring from the windows, I also wanted to pour the light across the little stream uh, that is next to the cottage. A cottage by a stream has got to be one of the most romantic ideas. I've painted this effect many times, but I would just love to live someday beside a stream. There's always motion, there's always a sense of moving water, and there's always that beautiful sound. We can almost hear it as we look at the small waves that come off that little rippling waterfall. There's a sense in which the water is moving, and yet the ripples catch the light as the windows and other lighting effects spill over the surface of the uh, water. I really had fun with the dogwood tree. I put a lot of different colors into the tree. Even though it's a white dogwood, we could ask ourselves the question, what color is white? Because white is truly uh, one of those colors that as you paint those leaves, it's a chance to put so much other color into it. You'll see a lot of little mauve tones, warm orange tones, tan colors. These colors create the white as they join together. The palette on this painting was a chance for me to really experiment with a rich, subtle sense of color. Now those two words may sound contradictory, but in fact, it is possible to have very rich tones that also are harmonious with the other tones around them. For example, uh, as I worked on that red tree, a copper beech tree that is in the full flower, it was fun to really bring an intense color into this lower area. Now when you look at this painting in a gallery, and hopefully they might have the ability to dim the light and see the lighting effects on the painting, I think you'll really see that rich red begin to glow even more vibrant. 
The past three or four paintings that I've done with an English countryside theme, or that perhaps featured a cottage, uh, were morning subjects. In fact, I painted Everett's Cottage uh, in a morning theme because my little baby was just born. It's the morning of her life. And I love that morning mist that hangs in the trees and the light that begins to spill over the landscape. But this one is a sunset, and you know it's been a long time since I've painted a sunset landscape with a cottage. If you notice the distant sky, you'll see the effect that the light is still glowing in what I like to call afterglow. It's that time of day the sun has begun to be hidden by the trees and by the taller forms of the landscape, and yet you still see light coming from beneath. It is still hitting the clouds, which are up higher. They still get the light hitting the underside of the clouds. I love the idea of smoke that pours from the chimneys. It's as though that too adds a stillness. We almost sense the idea of the smoke coloring the landscape and forming a little bit of a distant haze over the landscape. Uh, that bluish tone that you see in the smoke as it catches the light in the evening, it reflects the sky color. And so that's why oftentimes smoke, especially in the late afternoon, early evening, uh, begins to take on almost a subtle bluish tone. Well, I hope you enjoy a quiet evening, and mostly I hope you bring the sense of quietude into your own home every day. Now, I wrote a poem about this painting, and uh, this painting will actually be part of a series of three paintings, and I will let you know in advance what those are, because uh, they will all relate to this poem. This poem is entitled, Places in the Heart. And by the way, it was written to my wife, Nanette, as just sort of a reminder of the kind of quiet places I like to go with her. A quiet evening, a peaceful time, a life worth living because you're mine. Now, I know I'm a romantic, but uh, my wife and I love to celebrate our enjoyment of our relationship by going to special places. And I intend to do three paintings from that small verse that I just read. A quiet evening will be the first. That's this painting right here. Uh, following that will be a painting entitled A Peaceful Time. And then following that, of course, will be the third in the series, which will be a life worth living. And because you're mine, well, that's just my sentiment for my wife. So this is the first piece in the collection. It is the new collection I'm doing to honor and celebrate uh, Valentine's Day. This will be out in plenty of time uh, for the, the Valentine's Day celebration. Now, as we close our time together, let me just mention the exciting things that are in the works. I am at work right now on several new paintings. I feel as though God has given me a new burst of energy as we go into this new year, some new inspiration, and we're so thankful that God, once again, has allowed me to create paintings to share light with others. God bless you. For a personal viewing of A Quiet Evening or other works by Thomas Kincaid, please contact your local gallery 